Hey guys, it's Ashton. And John and Boo Bear and Ashton's got a matching um sports top. You for guys, Boo Bear. he's literally we need to rename this channel. Ashton, John, and Boo. He's, he's in everyone. always in them. He always is cuddling with me, and it's he so is. cute. Um, guys, the video we're going to react to today is Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. Apparently, we got a lot of requests from this one because the person who suggested it was Granty's Nuts, one of our biggest what subscribers. What did you just say? Granty's Grant, Nuts? Granty's Nuts. Um, he said, hey, guys, great talking with you hey. the other day. Hope we can do it again in the future. Well, of course we can. Um, anyway, been seeing a lot of requests for this video in the comments. It's a good one. A-V-G-N. Um, thank you so much for the support, man. You guys can also help support our channel if you want. Click on the link down below in the description. If you guys donate $10, we'll react to a video for you too within two to four days. Keep it on 10 minutes with the video link and title. Then, with that being he said. He was literally just chewing on his pads of his feet. Was he really? Yeah. Some stuck in them or something? No, remember he's got them scratches? Or... Maybe he's hungry so he's trying to eat his own feet. Um, Please follow me on Instagram, you guys. It'd be very helpful. I'm trying to get my numbers up there again. And I like um, interacting with you guys on there, so please do it. Um, this was a video made by Cinemasker. Go and subscribe to that channel because they do an awesome okay. job. And let's get to the video. Angry you Video Game Nair does such a good me. job at everything. What did he do to you? He wanted me to strip for him to get a job. You're disgusting. He's gonna take you back to the past. Dude, this guy was so lit. I mean, he's sure he still is, but these videos do look older, so that's why I say that. He's so sweet, babe. Yeah, he is. I'm obsessed with this cat, you guys. And he's obsessed with me, too. There's another cat. That's a, such a good intro. Yeah, I was gonna say. Plumbers don't wear ties. This is loud. I remember in the early 90s seeing commercials for the 3DO. It was advertised as the most advanced game system, and it forced itself right into your face. Like, if you don't get this thing, you're gonna get left in the dust. It even went out of its way to insult Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis, oh, damn. saying that those are just baby toys. Well, everybody I knew had those baby toys, and nobody, I repeat, nobody I have ever met owned a 3DO. Probably because it's never even heard of it. No, me neither. Dollars. Seven hundred. Jesus. But you better buy it because this is the real Did game. Did they say back then it was? Yeah, that's, that's like crazy. Twelve hundred in today's right? This new <laughs> yeah, it's a real piece of shit. Bomb technology. It sort of blurred the line between games and movies. Was this the new future of gaming? Nobody knew, and nobody wanted to be the guinea pig. Usually, you get the chance to play the new hot gaming console over a friend's house. But nobody had it, so the 3DO came and went. Damn. And now it's just a curious piece of history. There were many different models. This right here is the FC1, made by Panasonic. It only has one controller input. What? Wow. Now that's what you call an advanced system, isn't it? So there's Instead no of two multi controller players. inputs, no. let's just have one. Let's make it so you have to plug the second controller into the first controller and just daisy chain them what? together. What were they fucking thinking? Then there's the FZ10, which is a top loader. Still, there's only one input. And the last one I have is the Gold Star. How many inputs? One. <laughs> Just one. You think if they made so many versions of the same game system, they'd eventually add another controller port? You think so? The games are obviously on CDs, which come in jewel cases. But the jewel cases come in these rectangular boxes. This makes it hard Captain to fit Quasar. on the shelf. Captain <laughs> Quasar. What a waste of space. Sticks it in there. These are the most oversized game boxes I've ever seen. They're yes, even those are nasty. Even bigger than the Neo Geo boxes. And Neo Geo games are huge cartridges, oh, so man. they have a perfect reason to make a big box. Right, it was 100% the but these right are size just for CDs. that. It's completely unnecessary. Now, to be fair, there are some good games on the 3DO, including the definitive home port of Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. That's a lot of the more gimmicky games show off the CD on. technology yep. and are more like watching a movie than playing a game at all. More like watching a movie. Some of them are pretty impressive for its time, like Wing Commander 3, which features big name actors like Malcolm McDowell and Mark Hamill. I searched high and low to find the worst possible 3DO game in this category, and I believe I found it. 
It's called Plumbers Don't Wear Ties. Oh, my Judging God. Judging from the box, I don't even know what to think of it. An interactive romantic comedy. A plumber, a daddy's girl, chickens, crazed yuppies, evil bosses, shower scenes, race cars, pandas, a nun. What? A nun. What? What game is this? The hell's going on with this? Get it? Get it? No! I don't get it! Nobody gets it. Nobody got one. Hi, my name's Jane. We hardly know each other, but that's about to change. This is interesting. Put your big muscular arm around me and whisper sweet nothings in my ear. And sweet nothings. To do with every other this is so cringy. Wow. Now listen up, the rules of the game are real simple. You see, I meet this guy in the parking lot. Now you are supposed to identify with this guy. So she talks for three minutes as the camera zooms in on her breasts. Then the title screen pops up. Should we zoom in on yours right now? It looks like a kindergarten. Mine aren't as big as hers. Yours are bigger. And listen to the stock music. No, they're not. <clears throat> Hun. Hun. If I if I couldn't roll my eyes any as I can't even talk. Hun. As if I couldn't roll my eyes any further back into my head. I hate to say this, but she had a gap right here. Which means hers weren't even big enough to touch each other. I have a gap in between mine, too. It's just that my bra's pushing them together. Yeah, but you don't have a gap right John, now. John? What? She had her bra on, too, I'm sure. are not as big as hers. No. Uh, hun, I gotta say this. Yes, they are. You got triple Ds, woman. It doesn't matter. <sighs> yeah, my boobs are almost a quadruple D. That gap means but... that they're just being pushed up on the far sides, but in the middle they're not as big, so it just gives the leaves that gap. It doesn't know? matter. She has high... Um, high... Profile. High profile. High implants. profile, and that's that's why hers look so big. But her boobs are bigger than mine. Don't I don't. Think but so. I don't care. I wouldn't want my boobs any bigger. My boobs are, honestly, I didn't want them to be Boob bigger. Fight. I didn't want them to be bigger than a double D, and, and they ended up being a triple D, almost a quad D. So, I mean, I, I'm sorry, but I don't want my boobs as big as that because. Then I'd be like in a size F bra, and they're literally impossible to find. The but long fabled F stands for fabled because nobody a, knows if they exist actually. I'm a chick. I know that. Uh, I know my boobs are not as big as. Hers. Why was there that big of a gap right there then? Because she had high profile. That was huge. High profile. John, listen to me. Remember when we met with the surgeon and he mm -hmm. said that low profile is flatter, but wider. Me moderate is. A little bit further out and more in a little smaller round like this high profile smaller round like that but goes out far that's why because her right, hers are high profile do you get what i'm saying kind of yeah that's but still why. there shouldn't be that big of a gap it's because they're high profile she wanted ones that she, they might even be ultra high profile they go out farther but they're smaller so it's like, like a can this. of soda it's <laughs> you get what i'm saying yeah exactly that's basically you're explaining it right all right. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, let's just get back to this. That's why she had a gap. Well, you're asking, so because I'm explaining it, it to you. It, yeah, I get that makes sense, but it's still... This has to be the know. worst title screen I've ever seen. What is that, like a then candy that's not open? Race cars? Why is the color a negative? And then yeah, it goes the hell? sort of a mosaic. Looks like a bad <clears> quality <throat> picture off the web. Then it goes to like a vertical letterbox. The titles are so bland. There's no drop shadow to separate them from the background. And the right, colors you can't are even read those, random, really. Like a child selecting random pieces of chalk on a sidewalk. And it just goes on and on. Why are we watching still images of race cars? Why <laughs> just one guy laying like naked in bed. Why showing a naked guy lying in bed? Why is there a panda in a car on the bed? <laughs> Why'd they leave so much extra space when they cut out the panda from whatever background it originally belonged to? Why is the perspective butchered so badly? It doesn't even look like it's really there. But then why would it be there anyway? Now why is it just a head of a panda? Why would this there is ever so be weird. a floating head of a panda next to someone's bed? These are great questions that need to be answered. through the credits uh, yet, and this game is already a pile of monkey fat. True that. Okay. What's this? What's going on? Okay, so the credits are finally over, and now we get a slideshow. It's your mother. Now get your ass out of bed. I know you're there, John. John. <laughs> I said, get up, get up, John. That sounds like your mom. A little bit. A little bit, yeah, a little bit. 
Out of bed, John. Get out of bed. Yeah. <laughs> Every game should begin yes. with two minutes of some guy's mom trying to get him out of bed. Stop, smart mouthing. Making me hate my life man. More. Why is it I haven't seen you with any woman? Why is that, John? Don't you like No, your mom would be like, why are you with a woman? You should be with me, Johnny Boy. Ugh. What the hell's wrong with you? It's true! No, it's Are not. You, okay. Your mom's weird. That sounds your fucking, fucking weird as hell. Your mom is weird. You're not weird, but she's fucking weird. Your mom wanted you to all to herself. She... She did. Yes, but you made that sound really fucking weird there Not for a sexual, but... Yeah, you... But still, was... I kind of have some uh, questions on her because she's a freaking weirdo. She is. Gay? <laughs> what? Cut crap and listen to me it's time you got married you need children i need grandchildren i need my only child to bear fruit and to in bear my fruit. lifetime don't you love your mother what this is not a game this it's is like all the opposite of what your mom would say or no it isn't a movie is something that moves this doesn't move it's a bunch of still, still images. images if the beginning was actual video why couldn't the rest be that is oh, weird. Thank God that's over. Now maybe we get to play the game. Where are you, Jane? You called me, Daddy. Don't you know where I'm at? What? There's more of this shit? Oh, Jesus. Why the aren't you married yet, Jane? And that last scene, that bitch of a mother told her son to have kids. And keep in mind... Now he's referring to that scene. I've been sitting here nearly ten minutes so far. Christ's sake, girl. How long does it take these days? You ain't that busy. Now, damn it, Jane. You get on the stick and make some babies for your poor old father. So there's her story. The John fuck? and Kate are both pressured by each of their parents to find a significant But yet Kate's other. dad and her are aware of the other guy's video. Aww. Apparently, both Jane and John, these two unrelated characters, are taking showers at the same exact moment. The hell is wrong with this game so far? Sensor bars or sensor face with a nose. But that's only if you really want to see John's hairy ass. <laughs> They drag these scenes on as long as possible. Why is any of this necessary? Do we need to see their whole daily routine? No. Changing clothes, not at all. Lifting weights, playing yeah. with cats, trying Wait, to let's go back and playing see. Playing with what, cats, yes. Let's go back and see what Wade sees. Oh, that's not. Why is any of this necessary? Do we need to see their whole daily routine? Those look like implants. They do. Those do not look like real abs. No. This is the thing. Like, you think someone looks buff, Wait, and then is you... that Photoshop? Is the head Photoshopped on? What is wrong like with that? Bit. It's white, and the body's yellow. And it's so much bigger. Like, his head's as big as both of his pecs. But the thing is, guys, you think someone looks ripped, but then you actually look at him. There's no shoulders. He's got no um, trapeze. He looks good, but, but his abs do look like they're fake. They totally do. And he doesn't have any buffness on his top part of his body. Like, what the hell happened? Are you jealous? No, I just don't get how that works. Aww. Routine, changing clothes, lifting weights, playing with Yeah, there's cats, like eight pounds. More clothes, playing air guitar with a plunger. Oh, so is he a plumber? Well, the game's called Plumbers Don't Wear Ties, so I guess he must it makes be. sense. He's a plumber, and I don't see him wearing a tie. What oh, the he's wearing a tie. Ah, uh, plumbers don't wear ties. Title. And it keeps on going. We see everything. He gets on a motorcycle, she gets in a car, she's putting on lipstick, he drops his mail in the mailbox. Come on, why is that important? What the hell is this shit? And finally, Jane and John meet in the parking lot. Whoa! It's 8 o'clock and I'm seeing a 10. What I wouldn't get to do her plumbing. Yeah, okay. Okay. This is so cringy, oh my god. Okay. How can this even be a video game? I was just gonna say that. Like how? How would it, somebody's got to release these as being an official video game or something? They're like, no, we're just, it's just not gonna be able to fit. We're not gonna let you make it for our system, man. It's just not good. The system, the system would have to approve this game, you know, and they didn't. Or they did, and they shouldn't have. Oh, it's terrible. They didn't. You're funny. We know she'd like to meet him. She knows she'd like to meet him. But does John know she'd like to meet him? And now we get a neck. Who's this narrator. bitch that wants to meet you, huh? I, I don't even know. I'm sorry, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> narrator? <laughs> I'm not After 15 minutes giving consent to any of this. <laughs> it's just explaining happening. It. It's up to you, sport. Then, finally, we get a choice of what happens next. So, who do you want to make the first move? If you want John to do it, hit A now. This is the first... I would like this. I would oh, like Oh god. This. <laughs> Terrible. No. <Yeah. laughs> oh my god. I, I, I just feel like oh, he should make the first move, but I should oh. 
Babe, hmm. you remember those games that I used to play on the yep. phone? <laughs> the starry one. Dude, this is like. And I would name this my is the boy- origin of those. And I would name my boyfriend. Like, didn't I name it after you? Because I didn't want you to get mad at me for playing the game. Because I'd have a virtual boyfriend. <laughs> and I'd have to name it after John and make it look like him. Hun, look at this game. Look He's at like, it. Alex, nothing like me. And he'd get mad at me. I'm like, dude, calm down. It's just Hun, a game. look at this game right now that we watch. It's complete oh. trash, right? This is where those games came from. Yeah. This is right. the mother of those games. This is what those games are. You're right. Time there's any interactivity Terrible. with this game whatsoever. But it's just as much interactive as playing with the menus on a DVD. Yes, that's what I was about to say. games like Night Trap and Dragon's Lair, which are like movies, and there's not a lot of actual gameplay. But this piece of shit is way, way below that. This isn't even in the same category as those kind of games. John Travolta it's the shit going on. Right. Of what you can actually which looks good on John Travolta, the but not this dude. Like guys who are really aggressive? I don't think so. But what makes it even worse... He plans a vigorous uh, assault. The control. Yeah, you might be wondering, how the fuck could the control be bad on something like this? Well, what happens, the highlighter gets stuck. Oh my At god. First, I thought my D-pad was broken. My but D-pad. no, what it is, you have to wait for the narration to finish. John throws caution to the wind and pursues Jane. Be careful! Every fucking time you <laughs> What? Move, you have to hear the same thing before you can use the D-pad <laughs> again. Do girls actually like guys who are really aggressive? I don't think so. What the fuck? That John boy is... later on. So Jane rejects John and goes to a job interview. Damn. Gotta love the elevator music. So then we get a choice. Either she gets the job, she doesn't get the job, or the boss becomes a pervert. Note, you must be 18 or over to take a look at this decision. (laughs) You gotta be 18? On the box, it says 17. This was before the rating system. Weird. What kind of fucked up rating is this? The box says 17, but for this one part, you gotta be 18. You gotta be 18, you know, guys. Perhaps something can be worked out after all. Take your clothes off, Jane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. We get at least 200 qualified applicants what? for every position here. It's those this is like a rape going on on a game. They're the ones who get hit. I mean, get ahead. Oh, what a... That's what you did to me when we first started talking. In order to be my girlfriend, we got a judicial interview first. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Where was I? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know. God. What a bad joke, as he said. He doesn't even have any relevance <laughs> now. He just told her to take off her clothes. He might as well say straight out, suck my cock. Take your damn clothes off. Jesus. She's crying. With all the filters. Take your clothes off. Buzzer. Now see how your sick curiosity led Jane into this mess? Time for another decision. Either she refuses to take off her clothes or she accepts. Now, wait a minute. The first decision says our heroine declines the disgusting proposal. But in the image, she seems to be taking off her clothes. What? While running away, but still. It doesn't make any sense. Did they swap the images by accident? (laughs) So let's go with the more Can they never fix them? I told oh, you. Oh, Jesus. She no. To have a whip and- no. That's a push up bra. Look at that. There's no way. It ends right there. John, and then those it's- are implants. Th- there's no, those. No. No. no those no. are implants. Those yeah, but I'm real? saying they're not bigger than yours. Well, no. They're probably not. They don't look See, like- now, now we're getting to it. In that picture. I could tell by the other picture, too. But the other picture, they looks way bigger. But I don't wear push up bras. She's not wearing a push up bra, I don't think. But she. Then why does it look like her boob ends right there, then it restarts with the actual padding of the bra right there? Because it's going around. Look, it's right here. It goes around like that. So her, it just goes like that from the side. That it's, that'd be really weird. You're not understanding. But anyway, she does have high-profile implants, I think. And right. She didn't have much breast tissue there in the beginning, I don't think. Let's go, guys. Like we won't talk anymore about boobs. Wow, I, like I boobs. had no well, idea she'd actually boobs. do My it. My boobs. I didn't think she'd actually do it his face. Yes, what the hell is this? <laughs> Can you imagine? Okay, I'll do it. Stop, stop. <laughs> well, fucking get on this shit, dude. What the fuck is that filter? That looks like Trump. Kind of does. 
Um, can you imagine, like, taking, um, those photos for this game? Like, you're just, like, trying to take these photos because the game creators, like, you <laughs> It's so awkward. We're making this game that's not going to make any of us any money, so can we get you guys almost naked and doing really inappropriate, awkward, um, embarrassing uh, poses? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm, cool. Let's do it. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Um... Sorry, honey, do you have something else to say? No. Okay. Curse. Oh, now you've done it. You've really done it. How could you make Jane into Trump. such a perverted young thing? I've guided a lot of people through this story, but I've never seen such a disgusting series of plot choices in my life. A fucking chicken mask. There's where the chicken comes in. An upside down fucking chicken mask. God awful. So anyway, Mr. Chickenhead scolds you for your bad decision and tells you that you have one last chance. One last chance. So let's pick the other one and see what happens. So she strips down to a bra and skirt for no apparent reason. The boss grabs her leg, she kicks him in the face and runs for the door. Or no, she doesn't run, she just stands there. The boss grabs a pen and comes after her like a deranged psychopath. And there's Jane just standing, standing there. there. She even has time to go into the men's room. What? The boss goes into the women's room, and next thing they're both out in the hall. I don't know. I don't even like. Does understand this be like some this. comedy? Now they're outside, and, and she she's has her clothes dead. back on. What? I guess it was a public parking lot, and they couldn't just have a girl running around in a bra and skirt. I don't know. Probably. Maybe the actress didn't want to do it, but for whatever <laughs> reason, it doesn't follow any continuity. Then John sees what's happening. Now, what was he doing in the parking lot this the whole, whole time? time. Just sitting on his motorcycle? So he comes running, and I guess he's gonna save her. Oh no, it's time for the narrator. Well, sport, you think you can handle this choice without getting the lowest score in the history of this game? What, there's somebody else who played this shit? Who the hell are you? <laughs> I'm taking over this story. Who's this? Over my dead body. No! Uh, 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 this is so bad. Oh my god. Disgusting. I wonder how this would have all played out if it was actually moving. <laughs> Finally got rid of that obnoxious character and that horrible music. No kidding. At least the game's self aware. <laughs> True that. Take over artist wanted in 30 states for hijacking fiction. So she's what? taking over as the narrator. Why is this necessary? Do we not have enough narrators? I guess not. On the selection screens, we have at least two different voices talking to us. And then on top of that, there's this goofball, and now a fucking karate chick. <laughs> so now she's looking at the past choices we made, just so she can scold us and we have to hear the same shit all over again. These are the most disgusting series of plot choices I have ever seen. Yeah, I get it. You deserve every minus point you have gotten, and even more. I get it. I don't believe it. How could you make such choices? Enough already. Were you raised in a barn? Could they possibly drag Jesus. us out any longer? Help me, help! Run, Jane, run! Whatever. What? Her shirt's back off again? Okay, so the parking lot was obviously not a problem, because now she's in an even more populated... The hell? Area. Oh, here comes the banana peel. Classic. Classic. Slips. The longer this goes, the more you wish How long was, was this video. like allowed to be I mean, chased around? This is ridiculous. Is this is so it's bad. Motion video, FMV. But the only motion part is the beginning. It's not like See her three... boobs do look way bigger in that part. In that part, they look way bigger than they did before. I can't really tell cuz it's such bad quality. Video was incapable. Done with us. The Sega CD We already agreed that was right. And that was before. And if you look at Wing Commander <laughs> 3, the whole game is full of video. And it's right. almost like DVD quality. It looks good. And that was the same console. So if that game could do it, why not this one? Because they didn't want to spend so the money. Running through Hollywood, goofing around in front of Grauman's Chinese Theater, Griffith Observatory, and it's like a series of vacation photos. This the is hell? horrible. This isn't something you make into a game and put into stores. This is like a weird sort of college experience. Right, create a game that's sucky. Okay. As a game, it's probably the worst game I've ever seen in my life. And that's one hell of an accomplishment. Is he even a plumber? I mean, nobody this knows. This scene goes on and on and on. And we get the battle of the narrators intermixed with the whole thing just to stretch it out. Oh my god, he's back. What's 
going on? Why are there lines of bullets? If he's shooting her, shouldn't the bullets be coming from the gun? You or think so? Across her body? Why are they just placed randomly, randomly? All over the screen? And they put an X on her face to show that she's dead. Ooh. I'm back in control now. Are there dogs? Jesus. Dogs? <laughs> I'm not imagining that, am I? I just imagine that in my head. The dog. Dogs <laughs> are clapping. I didn't even know that dogs were fucking watching. So the next thing that happened. <laughs> that is boss, so fucking his name good. Is Thresher, by the way, he offers to pay Jane for sex. So after trying to rape her she and kill it. her, now he's offering her money. So for the next five minutes, John tries to persuade Jane while she negotiates her price with Thresher. Your original deal was five mil for one night, right? So what's seven and a half for two nights? I'm giving you a two and a half million dollar discount. That's way too rich. Five and a half. I'm not kidding. It goes on for like five minutes. Jesus. Like five million for a day, seven and a half million for a weekend, five million, seven million, five million, twenty million for a week. Ah, oh, like stop it. Get to the point. No way, I ain't no slut. Seven. Six. You're a slut. Still. Later that night. True that. Oh, thank God. Six and seven eighths. Oh, how God. How much is that anyway? What? How much is They're that anyway? Still negotiating? And how is it later that night? It's not night. It's not fucking night. <sighs> so then John goes into this big emotional speech. I don't want you for a night. I want you for a lifetime. Oh my god, you just met her that yeah, day. Yeah, but you're gonna pay me as much as this guy. You pointing to me? Not you, I meant like, <laughs> I'm trying to pretend like I'm He's her. Like, what the fuck? Don't pay me as much as this guy. <laughs> Bad I'm searching for me, for you. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know. Why are people laughing? Because this is actual, like... It's an outtake? They left an outtake? Jesus. Just for a joke? Okay. So it's technically not an outtake. It's an intake of an outtake. What the fuck? Jesus. Why'd they do this? His slip was that he said searching for me instead of searching for you. Was it that funny? Not really. So if you have Jane accept Thresher's offer, they just walk away, you get scolded, and then you have to go back to the decision. Uh-oh, I screw up. Could you give me another run? So if you pick the other choice, she walks away with John. They go out in the parking lot where they originally met. I don't know if it could be ironic or just out of convenience. Well, congratulations. Now for the final choice. Either I want the Hollywood ending or give me something different. Yeah, you know what? Give me something different. Give me a different fucking game. <laughs> this Damn. is one of the worst things I have ever seen in my life. On the box, it says plays like a game, but feels like a movie. Well, that's no. more shit. It does not play like a game, and it certainly does not feel like a movie. It's a slideshow that verges on being softcore porn, but it isn't that either. It's like some kind of experimental art project. If I just made it <laughs> and put all kinds of filters on it, that would be the same as this miserable pile of fuck. True that. The fan on the race car. Shit on a piece of toast on top of a roof while wearing a fish mask singing. He's awesome. He is. His shit's way more entertaining than that, though. Damn. That was awesome. Screw attack. Take your damn clothes off. Jesus. Guys, that has got to be the worst quality video game out of any of the video games we've seen on his channel. I mean, that was bad. It was just some terrible shots put together and then, like, choose. And if you look at the game, there's only, like, three different times, four different times where you even choose a suggestion. Unless you get it wrong and have to go back. Like, what the hell? That's not a game. You sound like him right now. Did I? Yeah. Oh, sorry, guys. Uh, well, that's not a you know, it's a good thing actually because he's awesome. Yeah. Um, like, comment, share, and subscribe for Cinemasker guys. He does an awesome job. And catch you in the next video. Peace. Bye, guys.